What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. Today we are going to be taking a look at meta tables, in particular the player meta table. But before we get into that I'd like to make a few changes that I've run across while looking over the code and the first change we want to make will be in the ammo dispensers init.lua file. So let's go ahead and open that up and change up a couple of things. So within this file and within the spawn function we have right here, what I want to do is, or what we're currently doing is checking the entity count. And this is already being properly handled elsewhere, so all that we want to do with this is just remove it in order to avoid the redundancy. So the lines that we want to remove here is this local end count, this if statement, don't forget the end as well, and also the return statement we have here, and lastly, the set nw int as well. And just to keep the formatting correct, let's go ahead and tab that back. Next up, I want to make a couple of changes to our con commands file. So get that open as well. And within this, the first change I want to make is changing this ent colon is valid to is valid and passing in the entity instead. And the reason for this is because this is the preferred way of doing it as it not only checks the validity of the object, but it also checks to make sure that the object being passed in isn't nil. So this is the better way of doing it, so go ahead and make that change. The next change we want to make is on this line here within this if statement, we don't want to use is valid to check if the nth limit exists, as this will throw an error. So instead, we simply just want to do exclamation point nth dot limit. This will check to see if nth.limit is nil or not. If it is nil, we can just assume that there is no spawn limit and as many of these entities can be spawned as the player wants. And if that's the case, it'll go ahead and just execute the rest of the code within the body of the if statement. And that's the last change that we want to make in this file. Next up, let's go to our custom menu.lua file. On the line where we are creating the font, right about here, this is throwing an error, and I'm not sure if this is just a me thing, a Mac thing, or if this is an issue for everyone, but it's an easy fix. So to do this, we just want to get rid of this line where we're creating the font. Instead of setting the font to header font, we can just set this to trebuchet 24. And that'll go ahead and fix that error if that was an error that you were encountering. If not, you can just leave it as is. But the last file that we want to make changes to is our init.lua file. In here, there's a couple of things. We have this random open variable that is no longer being used, so just delete that. And also, within our player death function, we need to add a check to ensure that the attacker is a player, because if not, and a prop goes and kills a player, it'll just throw an error in the console because it gets confused by the code that we have being executed within it. So to do this, all we have to do is simply add and attacker colon is player. Just like that, and that'll get rid of that error for you. That's all the changes we need to make to these files, so now we can get into the fun stuff, which is meta tables. So let's go ahead and start this by making a brand new folder in our game mode folder called player. And within this new player folder, let's add two new files. The first one being sh underscore player. This will contain all the shared code, in other words, code that can work both server side and client side and create another file called sv underscore player dot lua. And this will contain all the server side only code. With those created, we need to include these files in their respective places. Let's first start with the init dot lua file. And here we want to add cs lua file. And we want to add the brand new player slash sh underscore player dot lua file. And since this is a shared file, we also need to include it server side. So let's do that as well. Include the path to the file, which is player slash sh underscore player dot lua. And we also want to include this server side only file in here. So include player slash sv underscore player dot lua. And that's all the includes we need for that, or at least in this file. Let's head on over to our cl underscore init file. And in here, since once again, this is a shared file, we want to include it client side as well. So include player slash sh underscore player dot lua. So with all these files included properly, we can go about adding some code to them now. And let's start this with the sh underscore player dot lua file. 
And the first thing we want to do in here is grab the player meta table. And this is as simple as doing local meta equals find meta table. And the name of the meta table, and in this case, since we want to grab the player meta table, we just type in player exactly like that. And now the cool thing about this is that with this meta variable, we can go ahead and add our own functions that can be used on all players. For example, we can have functions to grab a player's balance, level, or experience. So let's go ahead and add those. Function meta colon get balance. And the only thing that we want to do in here is just return self colon get nwint player money. And if for whatever reason this networked int doesn't exist, the player money networked int doesn't exist, we want to default it to zero so we can avoid any sort of errors that it could throw if we don't have the default value in there. And I do want to point out that in the case of this function, self is going to be referencing a player. Next up, let's create another function, meta colon get level. And this is going to do the same exact thing, except instead of returning the player money networked integer, it'll return self colon get nwint player level. And again, if for whatever reason there is no network integer called player level, let's just default that value to one. Lastly, function meta colon get exp and return self, which once again is pointing to a player, since we are messing around with the player meta table. Get nwint player exp and default that to zero just in case. And we can also create helper functions with this. So let's go ahead and create a function that'll check to see if a player can afford something. So function meta colon can afford. And we will take in a single argument, which will be the cost. And that function. And here we just do if self colon get balance is greater than or equal to the cost that we're passing in, then end off that if statement, then we just want to return true. If that isn't the case, then we just simply return false. And thanks to our get balance function that we added to the player meta table right here, we're now able to do this instead of calling this every single time. And that's all that we want to add to this shared underscore player dot Lua file. Let's head on over to the server side file now to add server side only functions. And once again, to get started with this, let's create a variable local meta equals find meta table. And the meta table we want to find is once again, player. And the functions that we're going to be putting in here, like I said, are going to be server side only. And an example of these would be any sort of function that changes the value of a networked integer. So for example, we can have function meta colon add to balance. And it'll take one argument, the amount that we want to add to the balance. End it off. We'll create a variable local cur balance. And set this equal to self. Once again, self is pointing to a player since we are accessing, or excuse me, we are creating a function for the player meta table. Colon get balance using that brand new get balance function we created right here in our shared player file. And with that, we can call another function self colon set balance, which we will create in just a second. And we'll set it to current balance plus the amount passed in to this function. We'll also create one to remove from the balance function meta colon remove from balance takes in one argument the amount local current balance equals self colon get balance. Now instead of setting the balance to the current balance plus the amount what we are going to do instead is self colon set balance to the current balance minus the amount being passed in. Now that we have that, we can create the setter function for the balance. Function meta colon set balance takes in a balance as an argument. And with this, we will just simply do self colon set nwint player money, and we will set that to the balance being passed in. And while we're at it, let's also create a function for setting the level. 
self colon set nw int player level to the level argument being passed in and two more functions function meta colon add exp the amount to add local current exp equals self colon git exp once again to make it clear this is calling the shared function we have right here and with that we just do self colon set exp to current exp plus amount and lastly function meta colon set exp with one argument which will just simply set the networked integer called player exp to the exp argument being passed in now since we added these functions to the player meta table we can use these variables or excuse me these functions on any player object so let's take advantage of that and swap out some of our old code with these new functions we'll go ahead and start with the con commands.lua file and the first thing we're going to do in here is actually get rid of this balance variable since we won't need it anymore so go ahead and just remove that entire line and then we can move on down to this if statement here that's checking to see if the balance is greater than or equal to the entity cost and instead of doing that we can call our handy dandy can afford function that we added by doing PLY colon can afford and passing in ent dot cost and this will go ahead and return true if they can afford it and if they can't afford it it'll go ahead and return false next thing we can do here is the set nw int where it's removing the entity cost from the balance we can use our remove from balance function that we created for the player meta table instead ply colon remove from balance ent dot cost and if we scroll on down to our buy gun function we can do the same exact thing here by removing the balance variable and instead of getting the networked integer for the player level we can instead use ply colon get level instead and where we are checking to see if the balance is greater than the gun cost we can do ply colon can afford once again and pass in the gun cost and lastly where we are removing the money from the balance we can once again use one of those functions we created for the meta table remove from balance and simply pass in the gun cost to accomplish the same thing and we can also do the same exact thing in the custom menu function swap out some of that old code with these new player meta table functions or these functions that we created for the player meta table instead the first one we can change in here is this line right here instead of using git nw int we can just do git level and same thing down here just instead of git nw int do git level and here instead of git nw int for player xp we just do git exp and lastly instead of git nw int for the player money we can just do git balance now that all of that is done let's head into game in order to ensure that everything still looks the same and functions properly so now that we're in game we can see that our hud is still there displaying the proper information with the exp exp to level and the money and the current level that i'm at and with that we should still be able to purchase stuff from within the shop as you can see that all still works properly our money goes down when we do it and most importantly when doing all that we should get no errors in the console so with all of that looking good that will conclude this episode if this video was helpful to you please hit that like button consider subscribing and as always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time